So that was uh, Hey There Delilah um, by Plain White Tees. Uh, really fun song to play and we're gonna break it down. So first things first, let's just get our chords together. So we're gonna have D major, which as we know is middle finger on the, or as we know is middle finger on the second fret of the first string, index on the second fret of the third string, and ring finger on the third fret of the second string. And we're gonna play the fourth string up. Cool. We got um, G. To play G, we're gonna have uh, pinky and ring finger on the second, uh, third fret of the first and second string. Reach all the way to the top with the middle finger to get that third fret on the sixth string, and then index on the second fret of the fifth string. All together, cool. We're also going to have an A major, so either with index, middle, and ring, or middle, ring, and pinky, you're gonna place those three fingers on the second frets of the fourth, third, and second string. You're gonna play fifth string up. You're also gonna have a, one bar chord and one kind of bar chordy-ish thing, or what would normally be a bar chord. The first actual bar chord, or the actual bar chord, is an F sharp minor. Oh, shoot, one thing I should mention, um, the, um, my guitar is tuned a full step down, so my capo is up on the second fret. Um, if you're playing in standard, no need for a capo, right? I just need to put it on the second fret so that my guitar is now standard. So you can play this song without a capo. Basically pretend like this part of my guitar does not exist. So we also have an F sharp minor, so bar the second fret. And um, we're gonna put our, uh, to bar, we want to use sort of the bony side part-ish of our finger, kind of like a capo pinch, and it's close to that sort of that thing that separates the frets. Uh, if you put it right in the middle of the fret, it's like just, or it's just harder to do. The closer you can get, the easier, but don't go too much because then it's gonna muffle up. And then you're gonna do with the uh, ring finger here and the pinky, you're gonna put them on the fourth frets of the fifth and fourth string. That's gonna be the sound you get. Then you're also gonna do a sort of B minor, sort of B minor. So you're not doing the normal bar B minor, you're kind of like doing that but without the bar. So what you're doing there is you're gonna place your index on the second fret of the uh, fifth string. You're gonna do kind of like a power chord thing by putting your ring finger on the fourth fret of the uh, fourth string, pinky on the fourth fret of the third string, and then with this middle finger here, you're gonna put it on the second fret, a uh, third fret, sorry, of the second string. Well, you're not actually gonna be playing a full chord, you're just gonna be going like that. Cool. Those are all of our chords. So there you go. I'm just gonna refer to this as the B minor, because it basically is. Uh, well, it is. So um, let's get into it. So first things first, let's start off with the intro and sort of part one of the verse, which is. So here's one thing that's nice. You're gonna be doing, basically the whole pattern is bass pluck, bass pluck, bass pluck, bass pluck, bass pluck. Your bass note is gonna change depending on which chord you're playing. So from the sixth, fourth, uh, fifth, or fourth string. But these two fingers here, your index and your middle finger, are always going to be plucking on that like one and two and three on the and, are always gonna be plucking the third and second string basically no matter what. There's one part where you can maybe switch it up a bit, but you don't even need to have to do that. So we'll get to that part. So basically they're just there on this third and second string for the entire song. If we start off with D, we're gonna be plucking that, whenever we're on D, we're gonna be plucking that, well, for now, we're gonna be plucking that D bass note on the fourth string. And we're gonna go bass pluck, bass pluck, bass pluck, bass pluck, and then F sharp minor. We're gonna stay on that fourth string for our bass note. Bass pluck, bass pluck, bass pluck, bass pluck. D, F sharp minor. D, sharp minor. And then you know. Hey there Delilah, what's it like in New York City? I'm a thousand miles away, but girl tonight you look so pretty. Yes, you, at that part I kind of like to let it ring out. Pretty, yes you do. Then we go to sort of the second part of the verse, where we're gonna go to the B minor, and what we're gonna do is we're still plucking to, 
third and second string, but now our bass note is on that fifth string. We're gonna go, oh pretty, yes you do. And what I did there is I went bass, 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 and then I removed the, the B note, that second fret on the fifth string, and I just did fifth string open to kind of do this bass note walk down thing, this bass line. So, so pretty, yes you do. And if you even hit like the end after, it's not a big deal. So, pretty, yes you do. Then you go, and that's for like a full sort of bar. One, two, three, four. And then you do G and A within one bar. So I'll show you what it's like. It's like, so pretty as you do. Hey there, Delilah, here's two. Notice how it's one, two, three, four. And what I did there is for the G, my bass note was on the sixth string. And for the A, my bass note was on the fifth string. So I got a shift. So it's gonna go bass pluck, bass pluck, bass pluck, bass pluck. So, so far for that second part of the verse, we got B minor, G, A, and then we're gonna go into our B minor again. One, two, three, four, and then we're just gonna go to our A, back to our A, and do that for four beats. One, two, three, four. So that second part of the verse is gonna sound like this. Here's the part we could play around with it a little bit. On that A, you could do that for like the like one and two and three and four and on the two ands after the three and the four, instead of doing three and two, you could instead do three and one with the ring finger or something like that. So it sounds. That is purely optional. It's just to kind of add a little bit of pizzazz to it. No one's gonna notice if you don't do it, but it's just a thing that you can do to make it sound a little schnazzier. So, cool. So those are our verses. Then we get into that chorus, right? And then, oh, it's what you do to me. Oh, it's what you do to me. What's going on there? It's basically just D and B minor. And what we're doing with that D is we're going one, two, three, four. And what I did on the four there is I actually hit the fifth string, that A note as our bass note. So one, two, three, four, and I just let it ring out. One, two, three, four, and then we go to our B minor. One, two, three. And then one thing you can do, you don't need to do this, you can go one, two, three, four, back to D. You could just do that, that's no big deal. One thing you could do to just kind of add another, a little bit of pizzazz, is you can go one, two, three, on the B minor, you can go one, two, three, four. What I did there is I, with my ring finger, which wasn't actually really doing anything, it was just standing there, but it wasn't getting used, I place it, on the four and, so one, two, or one and two and three and four and, on the four, I place it on the fourth fret of that fifth string to kind of do a walking up bass line. Two, three, four and, and then back to D. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four and one, and two and three and four and one, and two and three and four and. And then once you're done the chorus, you're already back to D, and then you can just start another verse. Hey there, Delilah, what's it like in New York City? I'm a thousand miles away, one girl so natural. Right? Boom. Okay, that's good. Now we have the bridge to deal with. So at one point, we're gonna be in our chorus, we're gonna be going, oh, what you do to me? Oh, what you do to me? And then when you wanna go to that bridge, one thing you can do is instead of going, walking up, you can walk down. So with that B minor, you go, remove that B note, so now you're playing an A note, which is just open fifth string. And then you go to your G. 
This is the thousand miles seem pretty far, but they got trains and planes and cars. I'll walk to you, walk to you if I had no other way. Okay, that part, what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be doing a, it, there's sort of three parts to it. Part one is like this. You do a bar of G, thousand miles seem pretty, so one, two, three, four. That's what I mean by a bar or a measure. So you do a measure of G, thousand miles seem pretty far, but A, they got planes and trains and cars, I, D major. Walk to you if I had no other. I like to do that. I like to go one, two, three, then that A string bass note. Walk to you if I had no other. To B minor, way. And then same thing, walk down the bass note. So part one is thousand miles and pretty far in A major, da na 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 to D major, walk down the bass to B minor. Part two of the bridge, guess what? It's exactly the same as part one. Ba -na 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 G to A major, D major, walk the bass line to B minor. The third part is a little bit different. You're gonna go G for one measure, A major for one measure, B minor for two measures. So one, two, and three, and four, and two, and two, and three, and four, and and then back down to A major. One and two and three for two two measures. One and two and three and four and two and two and three and four and. And again there, you could do that little schnazzy bit where you just do, instead of doing plucking the second and third and second string, you pluck the third and the first string. And then as soon as you're done that, you just go right back to D and you're back into, back into a verse. And there you go. That's the whole song. You put that, those parts, listen to the song, put those parts together, and boom, you got the entire song. So um, I think I'll leave it there for now. Um, have fun practicing. Happy playing. This is a fun song to play. And uh, see you next time. Bye.